Oh. Ah. Uh, my apologies. You must be Amara, Fabara's roommate. And you are? Damien. Her boyfriend. Sorry, I just wanted to grab a bottle of water. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah. You have a lovely voice, by the way. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. Um, if you can just excuse me, I'm going to my room. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure thank meeting you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, good morning, darling. And please don't start with me on that Colossians bull crap about me putting to death sexual jargons because, you know, I've got a headache. Actually, I wasn't going to say anything. But do I need to remind you that I don't quite appreciate strange naked men perambulating around my house? Oh, my new cat. You like him, don't you? <laughs> oh, my God. Don't tell me all my prayers for you are going to waste. Of course not, my darling. It's not going to waste. Can't you see me? I am happy, fulfilled, and you know, very satisfied down there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Since you sworn not to come to church with me, shut my door behind you, I beg. Huh? <gasps> are you okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell me you've been taking your medication at least. Amara. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. It's fine. I'm going to be okay. No, you're not okay. You need to slow down with all this church business. Tell me, what does that have to do with anything? And don't you know that there's guaranteed healing in the presence of God? Really? And how long have you been suffering this hypertension? Are you mocking God? Amara, who is mocking who? I mean, if all you get from serving God is chronic sickness, singlehood and misery, then, darling, the joke is on you. You can't be listening to this rubbish, please. I'm at least try to see the doc. The truth is always bitter, you know? prayer I will now go into the first worship song the one we practiced on on Wednesday then you guys will back me up after that we'll go into praise just just about three the three that we that we practiced on the same key um let's do different keys different keys different key so that means we have to rehearse your new key okay uh, will I play after your first solo yes you guys will keep playing but not to don't go higher than us keep, keep it on the same level do you understand so that it's not overpowering our voices. Okay. One, two, three, go. Let's go. Okay, for all rules, like, for all rules. No, 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 no. You for all rules. Start, start that reggae, man. And that reggae is now something you play for me. Let's go, let's go. All right, let's go. Thank you, Jesus. 
For the Lord is good, His mercies endure it forever. His God, His God, yeah. Good evening, Pastor. Oh, good evening, good evening daughters of Zion. <laughs> Remain blessed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. God bless you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sister Mara. Just one minute. Eh? <laughs> Elder. Ah, my dear. Ah, how are you? Fine, thank you, sir. I enjoyed what you were doing there. You're just, you know. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank so you. I, I just said I should come and say hello. Okay, eh, just to make sure you're okay. Eh? <laughs> so I'll, I'll see you another time. Okay, sir. Hmm? Thank you. <laughs> you're blessed. Eh? It's okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. Ah, fantastic. Sister Mara, one minute. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Pastor. That was a great performance there. <laughs> thank you, sir. More grace. Amen, sir. I hope you people are ready for us tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, we are. Uh, that's good to hear. Mm. I must thank you for the donation you made to the church, our new church at Surulere. May my God bless you. Amen, sir. God re will reward you abundantly. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Amen. And I want us to discuss. It's very, very important. And I'm going to be very brief. Can we sit down? Yes, sir. Beautiful. You see, my daughter, Edda Levinus has made his intention clear to make you his wife. You know him as much as I do. He's fully in the Lord. And he has a good, what is it? Why is your face like that? Don't you like him? No, I like that he's a devoted Christian, but... But? I have Marisol Fantasy's pastor, and I don't think Elder Livinus can fulfill it. My daughter, there is no Mr. Right anywhere. Drag the person from left to the right. You said marital fantasy. What is that lady you mean, my daughter? <laughs> Explain. Pastor. I don't really think I can explain it. Yeah, I am. Thinking you'll go home and pray over it before you give me response. There was no need, Pastor, because I know what I want and I don't think Elder Livinus can give it to me. You know what you want or what God wants for you. He says he'll give me the desires of my heart. Desires of your heart? Yes, if it tallies with his. Sister. You need to be very careful with the things you fantasize about. 
You know, our way of marriage is not like that of the world. But it can still be better. Anyway, I will relay your message to him. You can go back to where you were going before. Thank you, Pastor. Marita Fantasy. Fantasy. Gino Barisione. Gio Barisione. Gio Barisione. Mighty warrior, great in battle. Gio Barisione. He that seeth vision oh, yes. edifies the church. Oh, yes. The Bible also said mm. that he that speaks in tongue mm -hmm. edifies himself. Oh, yes. Now let us open our mouth and begin to write. Open your mouth and begin to write. Is it too much? Ask me that question again and I will send your incisors to the back of your mouth. My lord, you complained yesterday the food wasn't too spicy. And today you decided to bomb my mouth? Are you so dumb that you cannot regulate ordinary pepper? Or you want me to hire a maid for you to do your job? Tomorrow, same you will use your dirty mouth and say that a pastor is sleeping with the, with the maid. My lord, I have never doubted your fidelity. Shut up, woman! Don't speak while I'm talking! <clears throat> Good morning, mother. Sir. And what is good about the morning? Mr. Man, where are you coming from? I went for a run. When there is a standing law to everyone in this house to always participate in the morning devotion. Listen, young man, two captains cannot coexist in one space. You cannot live under my roof and flat my orders. Do not flatter yourself. The only reason I am still in this house is because I don't want you to kill my mother. Joshua, do not talk to your father like that. You must respect him. Hey! Piaqua! Aru! Aru! So this is all you can say. And this is all you can do. Big shame. Big shame on you. Look at the crack head good for nothing son you have raised. My mother used to flog us with a turning stick in the good old days. And look at how good we turned. Indeed. But you. Stupid and hopeless, foolish conditions. You and your son can go ahead and finish the food after all. That is what you are good at. I really don't know how you make love to that man. Joshua! Yes, mother. I know some women that will strangle him in the act by now. That man is my husband, your father and our pastor. So you would respect him? Your husband, maybe. But my father and pastor? <laughs> Please. Honestly, Josh, I'm not happy with you. You used to wait for devotions before your morning room, but these days, what's actually wrong, Joshua? A revolution, mother. Come on, look at it. 
Your husband's hypocrisy has successfully made me question the Bible and everything it stands for. My son, forget the title. Your father is a man. And you see, every man has his own flaw. And after 30 years in a ministry, one would expect that it would change him, even a little bit. But no, it keeps getting worse by the day. And we continue to pray for him. Pray for him? You say? Like you do? Or it's because the Bible says it's the right thing to do? No, mother. I will not idolize a God that punishes the good and leaves the villain. Joshua. Hmm. How can one with the fear of God complain about this food? Joshua, you cannot renounce your faith because of your father's flaws. You woke up very early in the morning to make this food. Wait till I'm done with it and you will see made in China. Are you even listening to me? Mother, I love you so much. But I am done with that conversation. You know what it is? So Amara, um, your performance for the past five years has been so impressive, I must say. Impressive that um, you know the board they are deliberating on making you the chief accountant. Wow! Thank you so much, sir. That's amazing. Yes, it is. Uh, but then they are also considering Mr. Hazan for the same position. With all due respect, sir. Mr. Hassan only joined us last year and he's, he's yet to understand the rudiments of the job. Exactly what I said to the board. But what if I tell you we can maneuver this into your favor? Both, you have to work with me on my own terms. Terms? What yes. What terms, sir? All right. This is it. It's very simple, okay? We just have to, you know, team up together and overstates the sales and the income of the company. You know, by this, we could make so much money out of this. Me? Amara, what do you mean by me? This is a normal thing. Every other company does it. I, I don't know why. Amara, think, please. Think about what, sir? The answer is still no. And with all due respect, sir, I'm very disappointed in you. <laughs> disappointed? Why don't you watch someone who is ready to comply? Take your position away from me. But sir, this is so unfair. Amara, we are dismissed here. You can head back to your office. And consider yourself fired if you should spill any of this. Get out. Why they don't see this? This is very, very simple. Oh, the nerve of him! Ah, babe! Oh, he coming down, no. No, seriously. Who does he think he is? God? <laughs> okay, do you know what? Let's pray about this. You said prayer answers everything. It does. Stop being sarcastic. <laughs> okay, do you know what? Let's talk about something else. If it's about Uche, the answer is still no. Huh. Amara, you know you're not getting any younger, right? And? Doesn't mean I should marry someone that doesn't share the same faith as me because time is ticking. Well, he's a Christian. So? Is he born again? Hmm. Has he been baptized with water and the Holy Spirit? Does he go to church? Does he study and knows God's word for himself? Hmm. Does he, my friend, live a sanctified life that God would be proud of? Hmm. Hmm? Exactly what I thought. I spent nearly three decades of my life serving God. I'm not going to let someone come and quench my fire. How about the fire that he will ignite in the bedroom? Eh? Isn't that the grace you pray your Christian brothers have? The right guy with both spiritual and emotional fire will find me in God's time. Mm. Okay, while we pray and wait, I, I suggest, <laughs> piece of advice, that you find someone that will um, lubricate that area. Else you have to do surgery to open it up. Fubara! Uh -huh. Nearly three decades and no action. Uh -uh. 
Where is your conscience, Amara? Justice for baby Amara. <laughs> Justice yeah. for baby Mara. Justice. I cried. Blood. Christ! Oh, I, I'm sorry. I just wanted no to grab... No offense, but we really need to stop bumping to each other like this. And please, try to put on some clothes around here. Copy that. I'm sorry. <sighs> Are you okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just, um, just tell Fubara that I'm off to evening service. You are sure? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, 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 hey, hey, Fubara! Fubara! Hey, hey. Help! Fubara! Okay. Oh, Everything is going to be fine. Okay? Everything is going to be fine. Don't worry. We'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. Just take it easy. Okay? Alright. Talk to you later. Bye. Women of this generation, I don't even understand them. Do they think that marriage is a joke? Woman, when I'm talking to you, you listen and stop whatever you are doing. I'm sorry, I thought you were still on the phone talking to... Uh... You thought? Always thinking! Anyways... That was a, a Diameka on the phone. Oh, okay. I hope he is well. How can he be well? When that good for nothing wife of his is asking for a divorce? Oh. Oh, what? Did you know about this before now? Yes. She sought my counsel over it. And you. Counsel her to commit such an abomination? No, I didn't. I told her to pray about it and seek God's direction. What a silly advice is that? Seven times she was pregnant. Seven times he beat the futures out of her. The last time was fatal. It almost claimed her life. And divorce is okay? I'm not saying so. What I'm trying is that you mentioned. But you know what? You you know what? Yeah? You 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 know what? I'll give you an <laughs> You what sort of a devil in the bastard's cloak are you? Fuck this up, my What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Huh? How dare you? Sure. Mother, mother, stay out of How dare you? Stay out of this place. I've had enough. You are leaving my house today. So you can kill her? You want me to leave this house so you can kill my mother and blame it on the devil? No, that is not happening. Are you listen to me? Pasta or whatever title you've given yourself, this should be the last time you lay your filthy hands on my mother. Otherwise, otherwise what? Otherwise what? Don't try me. Don't you dare try me. You hear me? Please. You don't know how my heart has hardened because of you. This is your father. Mom, I am sick and tired of how this man is treating you. He will kill you, marry another woman, and nobody will care. No, he's not his father. He's not going to kill me. He's a servant of, of Satan. Satan. That's what he is. A servant of Satan. Please. Are you serious right now, mother? 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 gets to Mr. Abdul. And uh, that is a private meeting, Miss Amara. Oh, shut up, you mistake of an empty. I beg your pardon? Are you okay? Do I look okay to you? You know what? I don't blame you. 
I blame your father for handing over his company to a, to a complete minor like you. Excuse you? After serving this company selflessly for how many years, you conniving fools go ahead and promote Mr. Hassan instead of me? Is this what this madness is all about? Maybe you should tell me. No, you tell me. Is Mr. Hassan sleeping with you? Or are you part of the coup to defraud your father? Are you mad? Yes. Yes, I am mad. Because I cannot understand why God keeps blessing evil people like you when you should be dead and buried. Enough! I've heard enough of your stupid tantrums. Do you know what? You are hereby suspended indefinitely. Now get out of my office! <laughs> There will be no need for that because I quit. Rubbish. Baby, open up your eyes. See beyond my face. Beyond my face. Into my heart. To the deepest part of me. Interest in me. Headaches and um, how long now? Mm. About six weeks. Any fever or nausea? No. Eye pain, poor vision? Yes, sometimes I struggle to look at the light. I see your report shows here that you slumped. Mm. Yes, I just felt a bit dizzy, but after that, I don't, I don't know. Have you been taking your hypertensive medication regularly? Sometimes. Any family history you want to share with us? My, my uncle, he passed away seven years ago from brain cancer. close to him. Yes, he was like a father to me. Were you familiar with the ailment? I was, doctor, but why all these questions? Hmm, because, um, uh, no. It, it can be. Unfortunately, it is. The MRI shows you have stage four brain cancer. And I'm sorry to tell you this. D doctor, how long do I have? From the way the tumor is growing as shown on the scan, not too much. I'm really sorry, Miss Amara. I'm sorry. too big for your God to handle. It's not too big for him to handle? Yes. Yeah. I thought so too. Until my uncle was diagnosed with brain cancer. I prayed every prayer. I fasted for days. I cried and pleaded to my God. <laughs> but guess what? 
people still died. Yes, Samara. Because the Lord gives and the Lord takes. Why are we even talking about this now? I mean, it's been four years since your uncle passed. Because the Lord has decided to take my life too. <laughs> You're scaring me. What did the doctor say? <sighs> that I have stage four brain cancer. <laughs> what? Me. Spirit filled, selfless daughter of God. Me. Eager to fall in love. Get married. Have beautiful kids and live my life to the fullest. Me. Diagnosed with stage 4 brain cancer. <laughs> you were right for that. <laughs> the joke is on me. <laughs> the joke is on me. <laughs> just supposed to worship you like nothing has happened. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I should fear no evil. But guess what, dear Lord? I am scared. I am bloody petrified. Am I not your beloved daughter? my stand with you what haven't I done just to follow you what hasn't the world said about me Is there something you can do? Yes. 
There's something I can do. Are you okay? The pain in my head is nothing compared to the pain in my heart. There's a reason people say they drown their sorrow in alcohol. Right? It, it helps, yes. Just, just have a little. <coughs> wow. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Well, okay, we're doing this. Okay, okay. Darling, you are the cutest thing ever since sliced bread. In fact, you are cuter than Beyonce and Shakira put together. <laughs> yes, that's why you're my girl. Yes. In living and in dying. <laughs> Gosh, she's a mess. Bam 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 bam. <laughs> Not Anna. Ah, ah gentle and lovely Anna. Ah, Dear ah, Joshua, how did this thing happen even? I spoke with her three days ago and she was full of life. What really happened? For the love of me, where's your father? Be serious right now, mother. 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 Don't do this. Mother. Mother, talk to me. She's not breathing. She's not breathing. I don't have time for drama. You can empty a cup of cold water on her if you must. Dad. We need to take her to the hospital right away. Dad? He calls me dad. You're very sick. You're sick. You're a very sick man. And this very, very sick man is all for administration in Benin. What? And won't be back until tomorrow. Dad. Dad, where are you going? Dad! 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 What happened to Pastor? So, oh, servant of Satan, nonsense. You're crazy, you are crazy, man! What is this, Ampier? It better be a joke! You? What did you do to my wife? What did you do to my wife? What are you doing? What are you doing? You are not doing that! What are you doing?
Welcome to your first night of hangover. Here you go, darling. It's okay. How do you feel? Awful. No. I'll tell you what's awful. What's awful is you throwing in the towel and not getting a second opinion. You mean, listen to another doctor read me my death sentence? Do you know how traumatizing that is? I mean, I'm already experiencing all the symptoms my uncle did, so what other proof do I need? And what about chemotherapy? At stage four. To what end? Okay, so how about you telling the church so they can just put in some prayers for you? At least for the entire church to pray on, on your behalf. Same prayers I put in for my uncle. But still he died. You are not your uncle, Amara. My point exactly. I am a believer. And according to God's promises for my life, things should be going great for me. How come it's been one bad thing to the next? And I really couldn't agree less. But how about that man in the Bible? The one who lost everything and his wife asked him to denounce God? Job? Mm -hmm. Really? Why does Christianity have to be so difficult? I mean, look at your life. It's so perfect, despite you being so rotten. Who says? I mean, I don't have a job. I don't have a house. But you're not dying. You have so many bloody years to do as you damn please. Okay. So you got drunk last night and now you're swearing. Who are you? A furious lady who doesn't care anymore. I can't believe this is the end of the road for me. I had so many dreams and fantasies. Like falling in love, traveling the world with your Prince Charming, <laughs> having kids, and having loads of sex, right? You get. And who says you can't do that still? I mean, you're right. I have just enough money stashed up in my account to to make my last days memorable. Mm -hmm. And also do all the things your faith said you couldn't do. Including getting some? <laughs> Darling. Would it be nice for you to die a virgin now, would it? Do you think so? You know what? You're right. I'm going to stop sitting around and sulking. I'm going to live my life to the fullest and enjoy every freaking minute of it. So help me God. Yes, so help you God, that's my girl.
congratulations <laughs> on your successful penetration and deflowerization. <laughs> okay, girl. In one word, mm -hmm. tell me. How is he? Mm. He was sizzling. <laughs> oh, yes! Stop, stop, stop. stop. somebody. <laughs> stop. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now details. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Us meeting like this was never a coincidence in the first place, right? No. I looked forward to seeing you every morning. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. <laughs> Look, I haven't forgotten yes. the last time. <clears throat> oh, what's going on here? Uh it's Amara. She almost locked, I guess. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I was a little bit dizzy, but I'm okay now. Are, are you sure? Do you want something I can help you get from the kitchen? No, I'm okay. You guys really need to stop treating me like an invalid in this house. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Hey, handsome. Hey, beautiful. I was just looking for you. <laughs> mm. Come on. Mm. <laughs> If only you had stayed away from a normal husband and wife, really. Paul and I would still be here with us today. Drowning yourself in alcohol wouldn't change the fact that you killed her. Anyway, I just want to let you know that I've hired a team of soldiers for the funeral tomorrow. Start a drama, and I promise to give you a movie.
Really, babe? Come inside, I beg. What? What are you doing here? For by my... She's fast asleep. Um, Amara. We need to talk. It's important that we talk. Please. You have one minute. <clears throat> so... How was your trip? Lovely. And the men? Delicious. Is that why you've not been returning any of my messages? What exactly is this about? Look, I can't get you off my mind. Even though you're my friend's boyfriend? <laughs> you and I knew that when we... Okay, that's it. Get out of my room unless I'll scream. Scream? From pleasure, the last time... I swear to God, Damien, get out of my room unless I'll scream! Okay, okay. All right. Look, no matter what you decide to do for her, I mean, buy her gift, money, it doesn't undo what we did. You and I were the same. Get out of my room now! Get out of my room! Okay. Wakey, wakey! Rise and shine! Amara. Miss your sleep these days, eh? Amara! 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 We have a lot of things to do today. Uh -uh. My brain was all over the place. How did you miss that? Mm. Also, I don't know why I've been feeling so dizzy and weak in the mornings. Mm. Mm -hmm. When last did you see your period? I'm not sure I can remember. Mm. Mm -hmm. But you're still on the pill that I gave you? I might have missed taking it for some days, weeks. I can't remember, but you know I don't really like taking it. Amara! <gasps> You're pregnant. Relax. It's not like there's an assurance that I'm going to live to full term. 
And even though I do, there's always the option of adoption. And look on the brighter side. At least I know what it feels like to carry a baby. You're mm. mad. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. I know. Okay, so who's the father? Amara, don't, don't, don't tell me. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Greg, uh, Jones, David. Girl, maybe it's that Indian guy. How am I supposed to know? Okay, great. I can't believe this is happening. Girl, I'm so sorry I kept you waiting. <laughs> you know, since we got back, Damien hasn't let me out of his sight. <laughs> yeah. So, this thing between you and Damien is pretty serious. Mm -hmm. I mean, you haven't been with anyone else since you met him. And I don't intend being with anyone else. I mean, I am in love. <laughs> you, in love. <laughs> I know, right? And the nigga loves me right back. <laughs> What's this? It's an open check. I have about five million naira left in my savings account and when I pass, I want you to have it. Just like that? First you pay the rent in my name. Now this. Mm -hmm. And next I'm changing the ownership on the car. Shut up. Fubara, you've been like a sister to me since high school. Plus, you've made my last days very memorable. I mean, who else am I supposed to give all these my small assets to? Just like that. Bitch, see, I'll take my money and go to my grave. Oh. Just say thank you and let's move on. Thank you, girl. Thank you. <laughs> but it's not like you're going anywhere anytime soon. But thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me quickly tell Damien. Um, uh, sorry. About that, um, um, I'd rather not. Is anything going on? Because I feel like you and Damien have been cold towards each other. No, D Damien and I are cool. Um, I just don't want him knowing beforehand. You don't trust him? I didn't say that. Please, come, let's go. Let me get this Abacha. I want to have it before the movie starts. Now, Abacha, how old is this baby again? Girl, fuck you. Fuck let's you go. too. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here? He proposed. See, look at my ring. He what now? Proposed. Fubar, you're making a big mistake. You what? What's wrong with her? I don't know, but just, just give me a sec. Amara. Amara, what was that about? Um, can we talk about this later? I don't want to miss the what, six o'clock. Are you serious right now? Listen, Fubara, I just don't think the guy's genuine. And you know this how? Ah, 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 ah. Something fishy is going on. And you must tell me right now, because you're not leaving this room until you tell me. So you better start talking. Fubara. Tell me already! My first time was with him. You what? you more, you know? Fubara tells me that you want to give it all away. I could help you achieve all of that. But you're my friend's man. One of our many men, you mean? Hmm? Or it should be fine, okay? No, 
No, please just leave. Hey, 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 huh? hey. Look. <laughs> hmm? No, please. Okay, considering that this is your first time, is it not better that you do this with someone you know and trust than some random guy, okay? And I find you attractive. I'm sure you find me attractive too, right? Please don't. Mm -hmm. look, look. Don't. Hey, hey. Look, I'm going to take care of you, okay? I promise I'm going to be gentle. to you I was drunk and vulnerable and he capitalized on the situation brainwashed me and Fuba, I'm so sorry don't please. you dare it was a terrible mistake that I regret please he, he kept coming back to me after the situation happened but of course I couldn't hurt you a second time because the first time was enough you backstabbing slimy piece of shit I don't want to ever see you again Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, ma'am. Ah, your mama did it today again. Ah, she's not around today. Okay. Oh, yeah, give me my my 500 naira. Okay, ma'am, I'll go and get it. Alright. Jesus! Jesus! she was pregnant. Is she going to be okay? Of course. Fainting spells are synonymous with pregnancy, especially in the first trimester. What she needs now is rest and um, speaking of which, you look rather stressed. How far gone are you? Oh, I'm not even showing yet. Well, there are different ways of knowing and um, what you need to do right now is go home, rest and um, have people will take it up from here. Okay. Thank you, Doc. You're Thank welcome. you. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm not dead yet. That's not what I meant. Thank God you're here. I have been trying to reach you, but no luck. Oh, listen, I didn't come here for myself. I brought a patient. I need to speak with you right away in my office. It's very important. Yes, please come. I need to speak with you. <laughs> Doctor, you seem to have a great sense of humor. <laughs> this might be a little too much to digest, but I'll break it down. Two months ago, a woman was rushed down here and she had full-blown stage four brain cancer and she was on her way out. I was the doctor on duty when she passed. And she was in the hospital the day you came in. She had an MRI done the same day. And the first and the last name was the same. So I got very confused as that didn't match you. So the radiologist somehow messed up the result and placed her result in yours. This error could have been avoided if we were not two separate doctors attending to the both of you. So... In essence, what are you saying? What I'm saying is that your medical report was incorrect. So we need to do another MRI to get a true status. We need to do that so we can be sure and get a true status of your 
uh, situation. Mr. Barra and Dr. Osiyona. Ms. Amara, months ago you came in here because you slumped and also had some dizziness and fainting. And from our medical report, we saw that your uncle died from brain cancer. And that was why we asked you to do an MRI to ascertain your status. Doctor, can you just cut to the chase, please, and tell me what the results say? What does the current MRI say? The MRI reveals you have mild cerebral infarct. The reason you fainted and slumped months ago is because you have what is called a transient ischemic attack, which is usually caused by poorly controlled blood pressure. And the TI has actually left a scar in some parts of your brain, which sometimes causes you to feel dizzy and faint or have poor vision. But never to worry. Transient, as the name implies, simply means self-limiting, which means it can resolve on its own over time. And most patients usually don't need medication to reverse it. So you have nothing to worry about. So, in other words, I'm not dying? No, you're not dying, Miss Amara. And the management would like to apologize for all the inconveniences this might have cost you emotionally, physically, or psychologically. And that is why they have arranged a compensation um, for you. For bar. I don't understand. Uh, what's going on? What is this? True. Okay. So, what is going on is that I've packed up your stuff into your box so you don't have to stress yourself. Listen, you're no longer welcome in my house. Your house. Should I remind you whose name is Annalise again? <laughs> and darling, thanks for the check. It really came in handy. <laughs> is this some sort of joke? Well, let's call it a compensation for sleeping with my man under my nose. And darling, I really pray that you die on the streets sooner than expected. Okay, I get it. You're upset and I don't blame you. But you see this drama? It ends now. Drama? Drama, you say? Listen, and listen good, bitch. If I ever see you around my house again, I will send you to your grave. What just happened? Nebo. Nebo. Uh, Amara. Yes. What are you doing outside by this time of the day? It's almost midnight. Mm -hmm. I hope there's no problem. Just small. Fubara left the house and didn't drop the keys. Okay. Uh, so, so I was wondering if I could spend the night at your place. Eh? <laughs> God forbid. My husband is around. Oh, 
No, I'll be very quiet. I even leave before Don. You won't even know I was there. Amara, you don't understand. Fubara told me how you tried to claw her fiancé. And I cannot take that kind of risk. It's not like I don't trust my husband, though. Mm -mm. But I don't know what you are carrying around. No offense. I would have said none taken, but that would be a lie. You know what is fine. I'll just sleep in my car. Hey, uh, do you need blankets? I can help you. Don't bother. Thank you. Listen, Fubara, I understand that you're upset. <laughs> I don't care. Now hand over the keys to me. Hand over the car keys to me. Hand over what? Uh -uh. I don't understand. Do you have amnesia? The last time I checked, you handed this car over to me. Because the last time I checked, I thought I was dying. Now, can we stop being melodramatic? I've been through so much, and all I want to do is go in and take a warm bath to calm my nerves. Now, please, give me the damn house keys and the money you stole from me. Stole from you? <laughs> You're delusional. Uh -huh. I don't think you get it. The hospital made a mistake. I am not dying. Oh. Did they now? Oh, I'm so happy for you. But darling, I don't care. You stole something from me. So now I am going to take every damn thing away from you. You don't want to leave. Wait. <laughs> Hello, DPO. Yes. That delusional woman I told you about, she's here in my house, threatening my life. Oh, you'll soon be here. That's good. I knew I could count on you. Let's wait. Okay. Fine. Hey, darling. See, um, I saw you across the streets, and I said, let me make a pit stop. And you are? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Call me Hooker. You see, I, I have a very big business proposal for you. But before then, God, you know, who teach you how to ride like that? Excuse me? I beg you. See. Nothing to be shy about though. This thing is all over the internet. What is? Ah, you are a cock and cock with that Indian man now. Huh? <laughs> you never see him. My dear, he's on every S rated site. How would you make me come? Oh? See, um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Give me a call. Let's make this money together. Let me hook you up with something very big. Let's give you more money, not be all these uh, one, one to two thousand naira what you do, yeah? Give me a call. <laughs> oh, more, come on. <laughs> See you around. <laughs> madam the madam. Give you the details. Okay. Get transferred to this account. Okay. Okay, I'm 
confirm. Okay. I give you a better room. You can do as you like. Nobody go here. Ah. Powerful woman. Reservation expire yesterday. Um, yes, I'm aware. I'll rebook tomorrow. The earlier, the better. Before management go kick you come out. Okay. Okay. Let me say they even bring any customer. <laughs> Miss Amara, I can't believe you could show your face here after, what was it you called me again? Oh, a mistake of an MD. I'm honestly sorry, ma, please. I was in a really bad place. But of course you were. Otherwise, why would anyone be so stupid? You were the best hand we had, and I just couldn't wait to make you the head of your department. You were going to make me the manager of the finance department. Did you really think I was not suspicious of the theft going on in this company? I promoted Mr. Hazan not because I was sleeping with him or the manager, like you accused me of, but I was setting them up to fail. I had no idea. Of course. And to think I believed you were a child of God. Spirit led? Oh well. It's useless rehearsing the past. Now let's get this unfortunate meeting brief. There is no place for a renowned porn star in my company. I had no idea I was being recorded, ma. I'm not a porn star. Ma, please. Please, I really need this job, please. No, lady. What you need is to get out of my office and never return. Ma, please. Now! Are you going to stand there all day or get in? Um, um, I was able to meet with the MD of Annex as we discussed. Okay. So, sit down. I have some flowers <coughs> for you. Okay. You can't go in, madam. Why? But I'm dressed properly. To hide the stench underneath. <laughs> now, that's a smell that can't be hidden. Elderly Venus. Pastor living us. You see, some of us grow in grace and not fall from it. I know I have let the church down, but please, please, I have nowhere else to go. 
Do you think that Shosh is a charitable organization? No. Shut up, let me finish. Even if it is, you were excommunicated the moment that your abominable video came out with you doing God knows what, with God knows whom. Excommunicated? A punishment that is not enough. Do you know how many young ladies looked up to you? That looked up to you, fell from grace. Eh? So punish me. Use me as a reference point for your sermons. Make me sit at the back of the church. Oh, so we can have more black leading sisters sit at the back with their bastard children running around the church? Pastor, children are a blessing from God, no matter how they are conceived. If that helps you sleep at night. <laughs> now listen, and listen good. Sister Amara, you are nothing but a filthy, disgusting pig that deserves no blessing from God. Now turn around and leave this place with your abominable seed. Is it because I said no to you? Leave my presence immediately. Rubbish. <laughs> and there. Nothing like this ever happened. Hmm? Yes, Pastor. <laughs> God blessed. God blessed. Hmm? Again, I cannot explain the way I feel. Now, what's happening to me? I cannot explain. done things, awful and disgusting things. But is it true that I am rotten and filthy and undeserving of your mercy? Everyone has turned their back against me, even the church. The church. And I keep asking myself, why? Was this all a test? And now that I've failed it, what next? I have nothing. Look at me. Just this bastard child who will soon die of cold and hunger because I have nowhere else to go. Please, Lord, forgive me. Please. Have mercy on my soul. Cleanse me and restore unto me the joy of my salvation. The earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. Lord, your beloved daughter has not had a decent meal in days. Good day, ma. How was your day? Fine, thank you. Yeah, what do you care for? Um, please, can I have one plate of jollof rice? Okay. Um, one chicken. Okay. And a bottle of cold water, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank 
Emma, and how was the meal? Ah, it was really good, thank you. Okay, your bill. Uh, <laughs> um, I actually don't have any cash on me. Uh, that would be a problem. You can make use of the PS or use transfer. Or I can pay in kind. Excuse me? I mean, like, wash the dishes, mop the floors. No, that would be necessary, actually. We have people that do that for us. We have the cleaners, so that would be necessary. Aha. So what are we going to do now? I mean, if you shake me up and down like this, nothing will come out, so... How can you just walk into a restaurant like this, eat your fuel, and not have money to pay? It's, it's the baby. <laughs> I think you have to explain that to the security, not me. Security! Uh, 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 excuse me. Uh, sorry, that won't be necessary, okay? Just add her bills to mine, all right? Okay, sir. You're very lucky, though. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, sir. So, um, do you care for anything else? I appreciate the generosity, but I'm not some publicity stunt project. So you can back off now, please. Wow. I see the pregnancy is taking a toll on you. Oh, uh, I shot it. It's just that I can't shake it off that we've met before. Only that we haven't. And that's just some lame pickup line men used to attract women. Right. But that woman should be very attractive, don't you think? I think you're an arrogant, drunk fool. Who paid your bills? Don't you want to know what I think of you? Swallow it. Just like you swallowed those bottles there. Really? I have to... Wow, I just paid for a bill and she just told me this crap. I like that. The earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. God, am I really about to be sleeping on the streets tonight? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Of course, it had to be you. <laughs> God. You shouldn't be driving in your condition. It's not only your life that's at stake, you know. Sue me. Am I being robbed? Listen, you have two options. Shut up and let me drive you home, or we both sleep here. Look around you. I have nothing to lose. You know, for a minute I thought it was a pregnancy. But I can see that you have issues more than this country. Look, are you going in, or you want us to sleep here? Pick one. <laughs> Come, don't mention. And who are you? Crazy pregnant lady from the restaurant was not a dream. 
Wait, did you spend the night out here in the cold? Don't flatter yourself. I'll be gone in a heartbeat. Oh, no. Look, you can come in and have a warm bath. Or maybe have something to eat. You could use that in your condition. No, thanks. Please. Let me at least apologize for last night. I am not sure I was my best self. Please. <laughs> oh, wow. Now look who has cleaned up nicely. And here I was thinking you were only a brat because you were drunk. Oh, come on. I wasn't that bad. We all say that, hoping that it'll make us feel better the next day. Really? Mm-hmm. Have a seat. So tell me, um, what's your most regretting moment in your drunken state? Um, it'll have to be sleeping with my friend's boyfriend. Really? Why do I find that so hard to believe? Oh, please, don't patronize me. I know you remember me from the Indian Niger girl sex saga. Wait, you have a sex saga about you? Last night when you said you remembered me from somewhere, I thought that's what you were talking about. No. Uh, then forget about it. What you know won't hurt. The months in the hotel were the worst of my life. Every time I turned, I was slapped by the consequences of what I had done. And for every time, I thought about killing myself. But by some streak of luck, which I now consider as grace, I talked myself out of it. Here. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> A few months after, I had exhausted all I had and the hotel threatened to kick me out. My past and my present stood before me getting a decent job. And I had no other option but to go back to my former place of work. Mega investment. I had to beg for whatever they could give me, but they threw me out. And so I decided to go back to church broken, battered, but they didn't even let me through the door. I had no other option but to hit the streets. And that's where you found me, or we found each other. Are you going to say something? Anything? Move in with me. Excuse you? There's a spare room and you can just... No! Why not? I, I'm trying to become a better person. Why would I camp with someone who's hot, arrogant and has a drinking problem? What are you afraid of? that I'm going to pounce on you and get you pregnant the second time, or that I'm going to introduce you to alcohol or drugs overnight. Listen, lady, I would rent you an apartment, put you on monthly salary, get you a caregiver if I had extra funds. At least over here, you are assured of a roof over your head, three square meals a day, security, and a listening ear whenever you're down. 
So please, stop being insensitive and see that I am trying to help. But why? You don't even know my name. Because even though I might be an arrogant devil with a drinking problem, I know what Jesus will do, Miss Amara. You know, the minute you mentioned mega investment, I now remembered where we first met. The guy I bumped into at the MD's office. Mm-hmm. Can't you see that we are destined to meet again? Let me help. Please. <laughs> Be okay if I can get something fried. <sighs> something fried. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll hook you up. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay. Something fried, you said, right? Yes, please. Okay. Coming up. Cool. Did that do? Mm. <clears throat> How is it that everything you've made this week tastes really, really good? <laughs> Don't you think it's high time I get a real compliment? Why are you still single? I mean, you seem like a nice guy. Oh, only when you're sober, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, being a nice guy is not enough to sustain a relationship. True. Tell me more about yourself. You know what? Let's make this more interesting. Mm. We'll take quick turns and tell each other something about ourselves. And I'll go first. Two things I absolutely hate taking drugs and the smell of hospitals. <laughs> Wait, are you 10? 29. Well, in my 35 years of existence, I have never met a lady unashamed of her age. What do I have to lose with you? See, that's one thing I don't like. <laughs> See, finish. <laughs> Look at that. Can we get serious, please? Um, next, I was raised by my uncle. Mm. Um, he passed away recently. And my parents died in a car crash shortly after I was born. Oh, that is so sad. Well, I lost my parents not long ago. Oh, how? Unfortunately, that topic is off the table. Yeah. Okay, sir. Let's talk relationships. Oh. I have never been in a real relationship in my entire life. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. So wait, you're saying that you have never experienced the butterflies in the stomach can of emotions? Mm -mm. It seems like only the stupid and useless <laughs> guys ignite those feelings. And I only and still dig Godly guys. You know, I have had or experienced that that butterfly kind of feelings three times. Mm. Yeah. What happened? Well, the first two was a long time ago, so I'll just skip to the last one. That happened like uh, last year. This girl wanted me to move out of my parents' house, which mm. I kind of insisted. I had my own reasons. Don't look at me like that. Like, genuine reasons. Thing is, I couldn't bring myself to share with her. I thought we had an agreement. You know, we're having a good time. Then, months later, she called it quit. And she said she can't be with someone who doesn't trust her. Well, she had a point there. 
Perhaps I was the one who couldn't trust her, and if I can't bear my soul to you, chances are that you are not the one. Well, I get your point. Yeah. You know, I have a feeling that we're going to be very good friends. And I have a feeling that would be the death of me. Like, seriously? Am I that bad? It's more about me than you. I mean, I'm trying to get things right with God. I shouldn't be squatting with a guy in the first place. Talk less of being friends with someone of your caliber. Someone of my caliber, really? What happened to Judge Not? <clears throat> Let me ask you something. Mm. And I want you to answer me honestly. Okay. Imagine if the only person close to me in my time of trouble wasn't an unbeliever. Imagine if she had beaten some sense into me when I was spitting vile. If she had fed the word of God to me instead of wine. Imagine if she took me to church instead of the club. Imagine if she shared testimonies with me instead of pictures of men. Mm. Would I have been in this type of situation? Honestly, I, I believe that we are responsible for our actions, but I'll be lying if I say I don't get your point. Even the Bible says that we should guard our hearts zealously. True. It even goes further to warn us not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Mm. Not because they're bad or because God hates them, but because he knows that if we hang around them, there'll be a negative influence. Hmm. This is what I call Jesus R with Evangelist Amara. I, I'm actually enjoying it. It kind of reminds me of my mother. Your mother was a pastor? Not really, but she was very into God. And contrary to what you think of me, I was raised in a godly way. So, what happened? Mm. Not today. Oh, or not ever. It's fine. I understand. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, um, have you thought of where you're going to worship tomorrow? The earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. Lord, please order my steps. Amen. It's done. I'll let you know tomorrow. Wait, should I just add prophetess to evangelist? Please, go Joe. This is like my password to heaven and it works all the time. You should try it. Uh-uh, no, never, please. <sighs> Nature calls. I should probably go to bed. Thank you for everything. My pleasure. We will continue from where we left off tomorrow. Eh? Avoid me, please, I beg. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Good night. Yes, hold on. She's back. I thought you were lost or something. Good afternoon to you too. <laughs> well, here I am, <sighs> alive and hungry. Mm. Mm. What's that delicious smell? <laughs> you know, I thought it was because of the pregnancy, but I now realize that you love food naturally. Mm -hmm. Good food. And that explains the incident at the restaurant. Madam, how can you come to a restaurant of this nature, eat your fill, and say you don't have money? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, where did the Lord take your footsteps this time? My brother, if I tell you where I went to, you won't believe me. Hit me. Immediately I stepped outside. Mm -hmm. I saw a church bus picking up people for service. How convenient. I'd be you until I found out we're headed to all your state. What? <laughs> Are you serious? This tired, pregnant, and hungry lady 
It's just coming back from Amazing Grace Church in Ibadan. Amazing Grace? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of it before? It's a renowned church in Ibadan. It was founded by one pastor, Rukwe, whose wife passed away recently. Or so the lady beside me on the bus said. So, um, did, did you did, did you meet him? I mean, the church overseer? Mm -mm, I didn't. Apparently, he's been unavailable for months. Probably somewhere doing God's work. It's a far distance, but at least I didn't get all those judgmental and cold stares from people like I typically do from this side of town. Ah. Uh, are you okay? No. I, I mean, yes, I am. I left some food for you. You can help yourself. Um, okay. Thank you. all day. I'm worried. And you know that's not good for me now. Please, I just want to know if you're okay. That's all. Joshua. Yes. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Can I come in? me if I'm wrong, but I think your mood changed once I mentioned that church. You're always correct, Amara. I don't understand. I mean, I may not always have a solution, but I'm here to listen. And trust me, that's one of the best therapies in the world. The general overseer. He used to be my father. I... I haven't been myself since then. I thought skipping town, moving here, starting life afresh was, was going to make me forget everything. But every time I shut my eyes, that is all I see. Is that why you couldn't move out? I wanted to stay and protect her, but he killed her right before my eyes. It wasn't your fault. I know. He said 
if I had stayed away from their arguments. He would have crushed her limbs and not her head. But I'm sorry to admit it. He, he had a valid point. No, I'm, I'm sure you did the best that you could do. And I know that your mom's going to be proud of you for that. Is she? I put a bullet in her husband's leg and, and left him to, to bleed to death. I left him to bleed to death. I promise I will never be like him. Now look what I turned. A cold blooded murderer and alcoholic. Well, we don't even know if he's dead. I mean, I mean, I'm sure the church would have been intimated, right? I miss her so much. I miss her. I miss my mother. I miss having my mother around me. There's this emptiness, this anger, this this pain that has that has threatened my peace. I understand. I understand how you're feeling. But sulking and drinking isn't going to solve anything. Look. I know you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start from where you are and change the end. No. No, I, I'm not as strong as you, Amara. I feel so helpless. Then let go. Let go and let God. Surrender your life to him. He will help you. He showed me mercy and I am sure he will show you so much more. Can I say a word of prayer with you, please? Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for today. Most especially, I want to thank you for your son. Oh, I know the heavens are rejoicing now as much as I am. Father, bless and sanctify this food for us in Jesus' mighty name. Have we prayed? Amen. Amen.
What's that look for? Think I don't know how to pray? <laughs> huh? <laughs> that reminds me, um, I have your hypertensive drugs in the car, okay? But I haven't even finished the previous ones you got. Are you sure you're taking your drugs faithfully? Amara. I try. Try harder, okay? Look, you need these drugs now more than ever. You know what? One of these days, I will just follow you to the hospital to make sure things are going well. As what? Please, I think I can handle myself on my own. Thank you. No, Vexu. It's your well-being I am after. Take your drugs. I will try. No. I want you to say, I will take my drugs. Okay. I will try. I will take my drugs. I say it. I will take my drugs. Faithfully. Faithfully. Good. Bon appetit. Now change bullshit. I mean, I'm talking to you. I'm scared, Josh. I don't have a house. I don't have a job. I don't have any money. I don't have a man. I don't even have the father of my child. What am I supposed to do? Is that why you're crying? Don't say that. You know that this baby is almost due, and soon you're going to need your space. What girlfriend or what wife would want a strange woman living in your house with a baby? Just a few. But just so you know, there is no girlfriend or fiancé or any potential woman as we speak. Just a pregnant woman that I care about so much. Stop! <laughs> You're always trivializing things. This isn't funny. I'm serious. No, for real. I, okay. Well, I didn't want to say this, but I guess I have to let the cat out of the bag. What cat? You know, I even called and ordered for the baby cot because there is no way that this baby is coming into emptiness. And besides, I don't think he's going to meet the dad that much because look at me. I will be a hunk of an uncle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what to say. Come on. No, really. Thank you so much. God will bless you. He will raise men to fight for you in times of... Are you okay? Ah. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Is, is, is the baby coming? No, 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 no. I think the baby just kicked too hard. Oh. <sighs> but also, that might just be its way of saying thank you, too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, too. I'll see you. I'll see you. <laughs> come, come see. You? Mm hmm. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. They're lovely. Yeah, I, I, I'm i glad you love them. I do. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this, you just, you know, strap mm -hmm, it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it would be so easy to yeah. carry the baby. <laughs> oh, at last. <sighs> How are you? 
I've been waiting for you like the second coming. Am I safe? What can a pregnant lady possibly do to you? You mean, aside from talking me to death? <laughs> you know me too well. Now, come and sit. I've got news. One thousand ways to die. Accommodate a pregnant woman who loves food and just... Oh yeah, what happened? Your dad. He's definitely alive. And the reason why he hasn't been in church for months is because he stepped down as pastor. He resigned? Yeah. An elder in the church confided in me. I see. How do you feel? <sighs> Relieved. At least I don't have his blood on my hands. And? And I want to hit the shower. Do, don't you want to talk to him? Like, see him and maybe no. patch things? No. But Josh, that's your... Amara. That is my final decision. Please, stay out of it. What did you just say? So you hopped into a bus, traveled to Ibadan all by yourself without telling me? Why are you yelling? Because I am angry! Something could have happened to you. You're almost due for God's sake. Your father, who you thought had died, is alive and rotting away on a wheelchair all alone. And that doesn't bother you? Bother me? Why should that bother me? No, tell me, why should it bother me? The doctor said my mother could have made it if we had brought her in earlier. My dad had the chance to do so, but no, he did not do it. He just left and went to some stupid church program. And you're here telling me to care about him rotting in a wheelchair? Because that is what Jesus would do. Isn't that the answer you gave me? Or was that some decoy to make me fall for you and get in your bed? I don't know what's wrong with me. One would have thought I would learn my lesson by now. I thought I would be able to fix what was broken. I thought I could make you see beyond the unattractiveness and, and reciprocate my feelings. God! Don't! Don't! I care about you, okay? Why? Why? Because caring about me makes you feel less guilty about your father? Proves that you're better than him? I thought you had forgiven him for goodness sake! Can, can you just... Don't! You even told me that you had stopped drinking! But I have! Oh! So why did I find cartons of alcohol stashed up in your bathroom? Are you spying on me? I went to borrow your soap because mine has started making me feel sick. Okay, 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 I lied, but I did what I did for good reasons. Good reasons? Wait a second. So, finding Christ, praying, and studying the Bible with me, what was that? And if you had any decency left in you, you would tell me the truth. I thought you would feel a little more relaxed around me if I became who you wanted. Congrats. I feel more than relaxed, Joshua. You made me fall in love with a lie. Let go of me! Amara, Amara. Oh my God, Amara. Jesus Christ. Oh. Amara, stay with me, stay with me. 
Oh my God. Moderate hemorrhagic stroke? Yes. Simply put it, um, blood in her brain because of uncontrolled blood pressure. I believe she has not been taking her blood pressure drugs for some time now and also not attending antenata regularly. Otherwise, they would have spotted this on time. Oh my God, Amara, what have you done? Yeah. Um, doctor, what about the baby? Um, the baby is okay. From our examination, uh, we can see that the fetal heart rate is kind of high and also the features seem to be in distress. So, what are their chances? Two options that we have here. Uh, the first would be to save the mother by making her go into a surgery for her brain or brain surgery. And uh, secondly, um, she can have a C-session to give the baby a chance of survival. But these two procedures are highly risky. So the mother and the child stands a 50-50 uh, chance of survival. Um, this surgery, how much are we looking at? Well, um, all the procedures and all everything that will be done, we're looking at um, a little bit above a million. A million? Yes. And you have to hurry. You have to be quick. Um, we don't have any time. Any delay will lead to uh, something not very good. So make sure that you get the money ready as soon as you can because the two specialists that will be working on this are on standby. And We'll have um, a consent form for you to sign once you're ready. It will be available for you to sign once you reach a decision. Please, can I see her? Oh, sure. You can see her. Uh, one of the nurses out there will take you to go see her. But it's going to be okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's going to be fine. <laughs> How are you doing? What am I even saying? Of course you're not okay. You're not fine. You were right about what you said earlier on. That taking care of you makes me take my mind off my father. But that is not a bad thing, is it? I have opened up my fears and passed in this short while. I have never done that with any woman all this while. Can't you see? Can't you see that I love you too? So why, why would you make me go through this agony again? How do I live with myself if something should go wrong? Tell me. What do you want me to do? Just whisper it to me. The earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. God, for the sake of your daughter, please help me make the right decision. Please. Hey. Taking the baby out first was the best decision. Whereas to the reverse would have been end of both parties. He's so beautiful. Cute. Just like you. I know you can't wait to hold him. Feed him. Take care of him, but I got you a nanny, so there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> the 
earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. Is that a one-time password? I have said that one million times, still nothing. What do I do? Should I take the chance? Hey. I know you can hear me. But just give me a sign, anything, and I, I will take it. Okay? Stand praying, forgive. If you have ought against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. I'm out. Whatever you need us to wait till I'm back. And my drugs? Get it yourself. As I lay in my own pool of blood, waiting to die, he hit me in one big flash. I, 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 could, I could have strived to be a good father, a good husband. I could have fought my, my demons harder. <coughs> Instead, I let down everyone. Your mother, you, the judge. in here like a vegetable smelling like a cow dung eating the worst meal ever I say to myself you deserve it every bit of it I didn't have the right doing what I did to you 
I would have done the same if I was in your shoe. I know how much you loved your mother. Christ, I couldn't even allow you to mourn her in peace. Believe me, son. I looked for you to beg your forgiveness. But no one knows your whereabouts. And the guilt tortured me more than my legs did. So you had to quit? What could I have done? I couldn't face the world. Not like this. I know that I cannot bring your mother back. But I want you to know that losing her is one of my greatest regrets in life. I want to die a happy man knowing that you have forgiven me. No. Nobody <laughs> is going to die. Not on my watch. I am equally sorry for taking matters in my hands. We will solve this together. I promise. Dad? God. Who, who am I that I deserve? It's okay. It's okay. We'll fix this. We'll fix this. Yeah? We'll fix this. I got you. So serious about this dad. <laughs> She's very, very funny. She's always making me laugh. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's nice. I'm glad you are happy. <laughs> My son. Worry. Can't stop anything. She's the reason we are here. She's supposed to be part of this. It doesn't make sense. Have faith, son. Faith? The doctors have given up on her. One even asked me to pray. Sincerely, I think that is all you can do right now. That. I feel so selfish and unworthy to go to God right now. After all this while? My son, the Bible says in Psalm 86 verse 5 that God is forgiving and good. Also abounding in love to all that call unto him. I am a living witness. Talk to him. He will listen. Come with me to Lagos. Please. My son, eat your food. Stop. Stop it, yes. Food is nice. It's been a long time since I came to you. I know I have rebelled against you. 
I have done a lot of things I shouldn't have. I know I don't deserve your forgiveness, let alone for you to help me. I know I don't deserve a listening ear. But I know you're a merciful God. Yes. If you can forgive my father, then I know you can forgive me. Please forgive me and hear my plea on behalf of your dear daughter, Amara. The doctors have given their verdict, but I know you have the final say. Heal her infirmities. And I, and, I, and I promise to serve you for the rest of my life. Jeremiah 32, 27 says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Bearing in mind that God is everywhere, there is absolutely nothing he cannot do. I speak divine healing into the life of his daughter. Oh, God, Mara. thank you. Life into your daughter's life. He says that we will live and not die. With long life will he satisfy us. We speak life into your body. Daughter of Zion, we speak strength into your bones. Daughter of She's Zion, hungry. we decree and we declare. Now, no pause. Time of death, 435 p.m. Oh, I speak the word of God in your life. Uh, the word of God says uh, that whatever. Doctor, I saw a nurse cleaning Amara's ward. She told me her body has been moved to the morgue. Please tell me it's a prank. Sit down, Mr. Joshua. Don't tell me to sit down. Tell me Amara is fine. Mr. Joshua. Just answer the question. Yes, please. Doctor! 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 Oh. Coffee! Miss Amara, are you okay, Miss Amara? We did another CT scan immediately. You won't believe what we saw. The blood in her brain had all dried up completely. The only pain she has right now is the one from the CS stitches. You will not believe Amara doesn't look like anyone who has been ill at all. I have never seen such thing in my entire years of practice. This is truly a miracle, Mr. Joshua. Thank you, God. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you. Now, Doctor, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Eh? You're thank welcome. You. Yes. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. She made it. She made it, Dad. <laughs> she made it. She made it. She made it. So sorry. Uh, she made it. That's why I'm so excited. She made it. She made it. <laughs> yes. Hey. Yes, it's already on your finger, just in case you're planning to say no. I don't understand. I nearly lost you, Amara. And I cannot wait a second longer without an assurance 
knowing that you're going nowhere. I don't understand. Is this a proposal or a hostage situation? I mean, do you even love me or are you just doing all of this out of pity? Pity? No. I have loved you from the very first day you moved in with me. It just took a lot to happen for me to realize it. Even if that was true, I have another man's child. So? I loved that child even before he was born. And I accept him into Aruquay's dynasty. Hello, child. You made up with your dad. A lot happened while you were unconscious. But I promised to tell you everything over a mountain of food once you were discharged. Okay? Well... If that's the case... What? Then... Do it properly. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> um... Prophetess, Evangelist Amara. From the very first day you came into my life, everything tumbled and retumbled. I don't know what my life would be if God hadn't sent you to slap some sense in my head. I love you, and God knows I do. It would be an honor to allow me to be your husband and father of your children, unborn or born. Mm. Perfect. So much better. It's perfect. Now put it back where it belongs. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Dad, did you just stand by yourself? Exactly what I was standing here trying to figure out. Did I just move this dead bones? Dad? Dad! Doctor! Dad, are you, are you okay? The storms of life. 